How's it going guys? Leon here. So today we are going to take a look at some of the works that I have done during my time in school, some of the works I've also done during my time in apprenticeship, and a few works that I've done professionally. So let's just get into it guys. Okay, so we are first going to start with my works when I was in school. So here we have the first floor plan. From the garage, we can enter into the kitchen. Cause you know, when you have all these groceries and you don't wanna pass by your living room and all that stuff. So you just go directly into the kitchen. So here at the first floor, we have our first master bedroom. So this master bedroom has a walk-in closet and then it has a bathtub and a shower and a toilet and all that kinds of stuff. And then beside our kitchen on the lower right corner, we have our maid's room right here, which has access to our kitchen and our laundry. So basically when designing a house, you want the maid's bedroom to be as close to the functional areas so that they don't waste any time going from their bedroom to the kitchen so when they wake up they can just you know do laundry and cook some stuff in the kitchen anyways let's move on to the perspectives so right here we have the living room and then we have the dining room all right so my rendering skills back then was a little yeah you guys would see the texture on this chair is horrible but other than that my rendering was you know acceptable <laughs> okay we have our bedroom and then we have our billiard area and there we could see the staircase i was really obsessed with floating stairs back then so here we have the roof deck with the jacuzzi and this elevated pad so that when it rains you know the jacuzzi doesn't get wet come to think of it jacuzzis were made to get wet but you know it just it just looks cool man and i guess that's everything let's move on to the next folder okay so right after graduating architecture school we were contacted by one of our instructors to join this archiprix competition so basically our whole entry was entitled salakwaig which is two words salak means save and waig means the river so basically it is to save a river so salakwaig a riverside symbiotic community so here we have our storyboard that we entered for the competition and then here we have the houses that we did for the riverside community then here we have the view of the riverside so beside this river are these treatment pools so the history of the whole river is that the river is very dirty so this community is supposed to save the river that is why we have treatment ponds beside the river so here we have a rendering of the bridge that they will use to cross the river and then here is the exterior view of the administration building so you went with this whole wave-like aesthetic because it's beside the river and the river has this wonderful waves so we wanted to emulate that on our building so yeah so that's why it looks like a bunch of waves cresting over each other let us move on to some of the practice renderings i've done here we have a dome so this is what i use to practice sketchup so yeah i did this purely with sketchup and without any plugins had i known that there were plugins to make this I would have made this dome real, really fast. Move on to the living room. Here I wanted to play a little bit more with SketchUp, so I did this exploded um, contemporary living room. And then lastly, we have a park. So this is the time that I was experimenting with tensile structures. Yeah, I didn't have the tensile plugin back then, so I had to do tensile materials manually. Okay, and that is my practice works that I have done before apprenticeship. So let us move on to the work that I have done during my apprenticeship. Oh god, there's so many. So here's one I did of a commercial space. So this is a renovation project. So this used to be an old house. All I did was add modern colors. So I made the roof black and then I made the walls white. And then I added this whole section right here. And boom, it already looks somewhat contemporary. And here we have the gingerbread bake shop. So this is the interior of the gingerbread bake shop. And the exterior. This was actually really fun to do because I got to collaborate with someone who does fiberglass structures or fiberglass sculptures. So we got to make this snow right here and the snowman and this whole candy cane tree. So we got to make that in real life. This is one of the things I did during my apprenticeship year. So I designed the exterior facade of the hotel. So this is one of my schemes. And here's one of my schemes where I put a bunch of plants right here. And then I had to hide air conditioning units inside this panels right here. So that's why those panels are there. This is because I needed to hide air conditioning units. And that is it. That is the hotel that I have designed during my apprenticeship days. And also I was fortunate enough to be given a design assignment to design a convention center. So here we have a convention center. I don't know what I was thinking. This is probably a nightmare to build because of the unusual angles and all this stuff. So yeah, that's probably why they didn't continue to build this. So the firm which I worked for already had an interior designer. So all I had to do was render some of his ideas into life. So yeah, that's what I did. Render the interior spaces. I also designed another commercial area, which is just two stories high. 
in a very, very sprawling lot. I was also tasked into rendering one of the condominiums. So yeah, this is my render. Not really my design, I just rendered it. This is one of the designs that I proposed for the lobby of the condominium. And last but not the least, I was also assigned to make a showroom for Peugeot. Here we have the Peugeot showroom. I want it to be a little bit dark so that the cars were more emphasized. I had a severe lapse of judgment and colored the cars dark. So the cars don't really pop that much in this rendering. I should have just colored them red or gold or something like that. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Why did I color the cars the same color as the walls? Dang, Lee. And that concludes all the works that I've done during my apprenticeship. We are now down to the last section of the stuff that I'm showing you. These are some of the works that I've done professionally. Okay, so let us begin with the 310 lot project. So I name my projects pretty straightforward. So this project is built on a lot that is 310 square meters. That's why it's called 310 lot project. Here we have a three-story scheme. And then here we have a five-story scheme. So this one is currently being built. I did a vlog of the site of this house right here, up in the link, right here or somewhere up in here. We have the Ebony project, which is located on Ebony Street. Here's the first scheme of the house before it got changed and turned into this one. So yeah, here's the actual picture of the house right here. Also, I've done a video of this house right here somewhere. I'll put a link up here. So you guys can check out a tour of some of the rooms that I did for this Ebony project. And lastly, we have the Woodsgate project. So here we have three schemes. So this is the first scheme. So here we have a more contemporary approach. So we used muted down colors and you know, more earthy colors. So third scheme, we somewhat combined the first scheme and the second scheme. I'm not really a huge fan of this scheme because to be honest, it looks over-designed. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I designed this. And then lastly, we have the fourth scheme. And there we go. It is a more dulled down version of the third scheme. So this is the final scheme that the owners chose. And that is it, guys. That is all the digital works that I could find. So hopefully you guys learned something from this whole video. Also, a lot of you guys were requesting for me to show you guys some of the works that I've done. So there you go, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!